Hey, in this video, we're going to go over power chart and ordering. So to start off first, we are going to log in to power chart. And from your main Windows login screen, we're actually going to uh, look for power chart right now. And it depends on where you've had it in the past. I have it actually pinned at the bottom here. But if you're new uh, within a build environment and you're looking for power chart, we actually have to go through the same way we found DCP tools. So I'm going to press start here at the bottom left corner, uh, Windows Start tab. Click on All Programs, Cerner Build IH. Window opens up. And we're going to click here and type in power chart. And pretty close, pretty close. And I'm going to click on here and double click the powerchart.exe application. So I'll double click on that. And same thing with DCB tools, there's a login. And this time I'm going to use a test physician account and type in the password. And here we are. Now, at least for our, for our organization, the main landing page for all physicians is Message Center. So if you guys don't know, Message Center is kind of a, a place where messages can be uh, sent back and forth. Information about a patient's results come here as well uh, under results FYI. If there are orders that need to be approved, let's say from a medical student, or orders that need to be renewed, let's say antibiotics or for review, uh, they can be looked at here as well. In this case, since we're going over orders or ordering with CPOE in PowerChart, we're going to do that first. So first we want to look for a patient. So how I look for a patient at least, or the quickest way is to go in the top right hand corner. There's a search window right here. And I'm just going to type in CPOE. I know I have a test patient there. And it brings up the encounter search window. Now, when we get to this point, we want to hit or find or use one of these patients at least. And for me, I like using CPOE Viet number two, one of my favorite patients. And click on that. And before you can click OK, you actually have to click on the correct encounter uh, number or counter event down at the bottom here. So um, we can't pick, we can pick the discharge one but we want to pick an active status one and counter that they're at NRG right now so they're in the hospital and they need some orders so we're going to click on this encounter and click OK and it brings the patient's information up right here now there are five different ways I want to talk about uh, ordering or at least the basic ways of ordering within power chart for a patient um, and some of them are consistent across the board, um, and some of them are not. But I'll go over them one by one. So the first place we can find uh, a way to order for the patient is the Provider View menu tab right here on the left, uh, which actually can be collapsed back and forth, like so. So if you don't want it up there like that, you want some more screen real estate, which sometimes is quite handy, we can collapse that. But in this case, we actually want to have this open like so. So we're in the provider view. And we're at the admit consult M page or provider page. And all along here, we have different options. Now we can click on each of these or we can actually scroll down and it'll actually update on the side where we're at as we go along. Now, the two main areas within this tab right here are the medications tab and the new order entry tab. So if I click on medications right here, it brings me to the medications area and it actually shows you all the medications this patient has scheduled, PRN, and suspended, discontinued, but those are all collapsed. And it says within the last 24 hour period. So if I click on this blue icon right beside the medication name, it will actually bring up a new window. So I click on there. And that blue tab will 
it depends on the context, will actually be consistent across the board in terms of bringing up this window. We call it the add order window. And from here, we can modify this a little bit more. We have access to department level ordering, uh, which are these tabs here, here. So if I click right there, it has some orders that are pre-built for the user to use, but we're not gonna use that. I'm gonna scroll up or favorites right here. But what we're concerned about is the search window right here. So let's say hypothetically this patient has pain and we want to treat the pain with some Tylenol so, or acetaminophen. So I'm going to type in acetaminophen like so. I forgot the O, but it still brings it up and brings up the order sentence window. So it depends on your organization, but some places you can build out pre-built sentences for uh, particular medications. So since acetaminophen or Tylenol is pretty commonly ordered for patients, we've built out some pre-built sentences that aids in the efficiency or the quickness of ordering. So in this case, we want to give uh, 1000 milligrams Q6H for this particular patient. Click OK. And it should load up the order in the background here. And once that loads up, I can click done on this window and actually fiddle around and initiate the order like so. So I'm going to click done. And the order right here, you can see acetaminophen, 1000 milligrams tab oral Q6H PRN for pain and fever. And it gives you the time like so. And I can, uh, as you can see right here, the, the asterisks or the star and the dose, the the bolded lettering for a particular field. If it's like that, that means it's a required field. We need to fill it up. In this case, because we already picked a pre-built order sentence, we don't have to really worry about it. But if this was blank for whatever case, like so, and I click away from it, it turns yellow. That means we need to fill it in. So let's go back here and put in 1000 milligrams. And I can actually just, if I'm happy with this, pretty standard dosing, 1,000 milligrams every six hours for pain and fever orally. Okay, let's sign. And we give this a few minutes and it's signed. We click refresh and we can see our order right at the top here. I see an amenophen ordered on the 21st of February, 2016 at 22.14 Pacific Standard Time. Doctor or ordered by test doctor hospitalist. So that's the first way of ordering, or one of the ways of the first way of ordering. Now if we go back to the provider view right up here, now that was the medications tab. As we review this, maybe you notice that this person, person was not on Tylenol and you wanted to order it, you can do it from here. And as you can see, this patient's already on Tylenol, 500 milligrams, so erroneous ordering, too much acetaminophen, we would cancel that one. <laughs> For the previous order. Now if we go down to new order entry right down here, this is another way. Now as you can see the blue icon right here, buy new order entry, that's a way if we click on that it does bring up the new or the add order window again if we want to go this way. Uh, but uh, since I already went over that I don't want to. I want to go back here to provide a view. Um, but here this is different. This is different right here. Now these folders, they actually, if we went back to the add order window, they actually represent this right here. So home level, department level orders for this physician are built here and they are displayed here as well. But let's say we want to just we don't want to order acetaminophen again. This person already has two orders of acetaminophen. Let's order uh, an x-ray for this person. So let's do XR chest. And just like order sets, we have a prefix for particular diagnostic imaging orders. And let's say, you know, this person suspected something uh, in the chest area. Let's say pneumonia, or they have a chest or cardiac uh, incident or something we need to investigate you know click xr chest two views and it actually differently enough 
goes up here to the orders per signature inbox. So quite a bit different than the other way of ordering. If we click up here, it says right there, orders per signature. It's almost like shopping at Amazon. You, you search for something, you click on it, it goes into your shopping cart. And now you click up here. As you can see in the orders for signature window, pops up. It has the XR chest two view that we have here. And if this person was actually diagnosed with something, uh, in another video we'll go over, it actually shows right here. So this person has acute angina and pneumonia. These are the reasons we might be using the ch or ordering the chest x-ray for. So we can modify this and it goes to the orders detail page, or we can sign this and go straight to ordering. But since we don't have an order sentence attached to it, we're going to click on modify and the order sentence window pops up again and you know let's say this is an emergency we want this done stat or right away something's going on and we need to find out and another aspect of ordering there is a blue circle with a white x so a blue circle with a white x beside beside the order and again this relates to the required fields within an order now, if they're not filled out, you will get this and you cannot go on. So if I actually click sign here, it says the system will say the system does not allow signatures while any order sign is missing required order details. Please complete the required details. And, you know, luckily enough, it actually makes it somewhat easy for you. You can click on first details and it brings you right into the order. And what am I missing? So, like I said earlier, you know, maybe we're going to order this for uh, this patient has pneumonia. So there's like pneumonia. Let's say, well, we don't have pneumothorax, pleural effusion. Well, let's say follow-up pneumonia. So I'll click on right there. And we're going to click on sign. So you see that blue circle with the white X? It's gone. And we're going to click on sign. And the order should process and it has processed there we go that's another way of ordering now let's move on to the round and manage m page slash physician page now this is basically the same thing as the previous tab the admit console tab and if we scroll down onto the side here it gives us the same options so i'm going to click on medications gives us the same options again with the blue icon right here. And if I click on that, it does bring up the add order window like so. But we know that how this works already, so we're not going to bother. And if we go back to provider view again and click on new order entry, it's the same deal, same deal. So those are the two different ways using the M pages, the admit consult and round manage page. Now going on to quick orders, this is another way of ordering. Now just like using the previous new order entry way in the admit consult and round manage page, this actually has the orders for signature box as well in addition to the new order entry uh, search field too and with the blue icon. So let's say we are looking for an order and we have now the quick orders page is actually it's nice uh, it has its limitations uh, for sure uh, one of them being it doesn't really go to the orders details page which is I would say it's a it's a patient safety issue but if you know what you're ordering and it's pretty let's say benign not a, a patient risk or risk of ordering it incorrectly like a consult um, it's it's actually quite handy so let's say we want to order a consult then let's order a consult to occupational therapy and let's say we wanted to order something else let's say we wanted to order a consult to cardiology and it's not there so how do we find it from this page well since we have the new order entry widget right here we can actually search for it so we can say consult to cardiology. And like so, it brings up everything related to consult to cardiology. So we have cardiology 
cardiology pediatric or consult a pediatric cardiology and which these two orders right here that I'm highlighting they're just synonyms of each other just same thing but said in different ways so we're going to pick consult to cardiology and that's actually going to go up to this shopping cart right up here where the orders for signature bin and click on so and as you can see it's right here and we'd go through the same process again as we did before so that's the quick order stage next is the inpatient summary page now the inpatient summary page is quite handy uh, as the name implies it's a summary of patients information and we have several different places here again which it's not the same but it mimics in many ways what the other tabs were so we have the medication tab or widget with the blue icon and the blue icon you know I want to clarify it's not always for medications as you can see above here it can be for documents or home medications or for vital signs so you gotta look at the context of where that blue icon is or the blue plus icon is and if we look over here the new order entry widget is here as well exact same thing as we saw in the quick orders page but it's in the inpatient summary page so if we, cl we click on the blue icon we're going to click on the new order entry and the new order entry is just a, a, a summary of all orders for a particular patient and this is actually the next step of where we can add our order uh, orders now if we look along the menu tab on the left right here we can actually see different options that have the plus and add option beside now we have it for allergies we have it for documentation we have it for medication list and we have it for orders now if we click on medication list it kind of works basically the same as the orders for the most part it brings you to the same thing but different tabs different tabs so the medication list is actually just list of only medications as the name implies and then if we click on orders it's actually a summary of all orders so it could be laboratory orders patient care orders consults diagnostic imaging and medications so and we look on this page right here as i said it's a summary of all orders and order sets as well now please ignore all the order sets and orders that have been ordered for this particular patient it is a test test patient so this patient has a lot of stuff that is uh, i would say quite erroneous this patient's probably died multiple times from the amount of orders we've put on them so yeah please disregard that but another way of ordering from this section is the add or the blue plus add button right at the top right here which is like i said earlier on the noted on the side right here but if we click on this actually brings us to the add order window again and like I've done in previous examples if we search for something we'll just put in hydro and obviously a lot of medications have the word hydro in it uh, we can say let's do hydrocortisone injection sure and we'll say none so not all the fields are filled out and you can see here again same way of ordering if we don't pick an order sentence that is pre-built we would have to fill in the dose the route the frequency and other additional details related to this order 